went to a big box store for a floor. Couldn't find any help. All we got were these big box voices. Don't get big box voices. Get expert help and up to $500 off during our I Love It flooring sale featuring Tigressa carpets, hardwood, and more at Carpet One. At the Sumner County Sheriff's Department, along with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, are currently investigating the deaths of two men at a home located in the 2800 block of Highway 25 in Cottontown, according to Sumner County Sheriff Sonny Weatherford. The home is located near the intersection of Highway 25 and Halltown Road and West Hester Road. The Smoky Bar News spoke to Carl Hargis, who is a neighbor and lives in the area directly near where police are currently investigating. Carl told us that he's friends with a woman who discovered the bodies and called 911. Uh, Carl was also a witness to to a lot of the police activity last night and this afternoon, and so we're going to play his interview in its entirety. So, Carl, you live in a home nearby? Yes. And are you friends with somebody who lives nearby? Yes. I have a female friend. I normally go you do yard sales with her all the time. Have a, She always has yard sales. She went to go uh, over to the man's house and when it was raining. Sit there, storm, power went out. She normally plays cards with them on the front porch. She opens the door and the door was already busted open and uh, there's a body laying there. And uh, now there's two bodies. And supposedly the homeowner, he's an 18-wheeler. He supposedly, when he got off of work, came home, his house was already busted into, came in. Normally, rednecks around here, we always sit there and do the normal. And we ain't going to call the cops first. We check our house before we call the cops. And supposedly when he went into his front door, the dude was waiting on him with his own rifles. And uh, there's two gunshots and uh, two people are dead. And now we're sitting here and there's a lot of other people here. How are you getting this information? Uh, from the woman and the police officers. Uh, they won't really classify anything. They won't say anything, but we know it's him. It's the bank robber from Bowling Green. Is that, is that what the gesture you're getting for? Yes, they're suggesting that it's him. The way that the body was and looks, it looks about the guy that was on the news. He's in the right area? Yes. They searched here last night, and when they searched here, they left the area. But see, what they don't know is, like, we're home here. This is my home. This is my neck of the woods. There's caves here. The man must have found the cave, stayed in it. When the cops sat there were searching, they couldn't find anything. They had the dogs out. They had the helicopter flying around. And then still, this is where we're at. I mean, they can't keep up with uh, a man that sit there and robs someone in Bowling Green, comes here to Tennessee, and then now shoots a homeowner. And now he's dead and then kills an innocent man in the process. I mean, it's, it's worthless. I mean... You sit there and you look at the way the world is and see how it's changed. Now we sit there, they want us to disarm our guns. We're all over here wanting our guns in our house. You ask for protection, they don't give you nothing. And right now, the way you see it, that's what it looks. They ain't set up really everything. They're checking the body out and uh, checking the back door. The uh, back door's busted open. And... Uh, they came here probably, I think, about 4 o'clock. They came here. We seen uh, five police cars, actually. Five officers. It was uh, Cross Plains, Gallatin, White House, and um, one unmarked car that showed up here. After that, then it was uh, everybody was surrounding the whole entire house and sat there, and they pretty much blocked it off had the house blocked we heard big bangs which sounded like gunshots we thought they fired at the dude inside the house where were you when this was going on and, and when was this this was about five o'clock um we were you I, um, I was actually about right here when we heard the big bangs and everything else how did you coincidentally happen to be right here i ran pretty much so you heard shots from a distance and came up here well actually i heard that well when we had the power outage I was literally, I had my window open, and all you saw, you see nothing but police sirens, and it's getting louder and louder. So when we came outside, we sat there and heard all this loud noise. So I was like, oh, wow, I bet they got the dude. So we run up here, 
and they surrounded this house that's up here and when they surrounded it we thought they had them so we heard the the big bangs and it sounded like a 223 and then it also sounded like an actual shotgun but they're saying they never busted the doors down or anything and there was no gunshots but we heard it. and they're sitting there now saying that it's nothing but uh, noise and they won't ever give you any information and uh, way uh, the woman that's up there she's pretty scared she's uh she's all right her son just came up here positionally where's her house where's his house um his house is uh two wait hey babe what's the number on that address just a, roughly uh 29 uh, 67 i believe uh, are you is she across the street yes right across directly across the street yes sir and so where we see the uh, lights and all that stuff there so yeah She's on that side or on that side? She's on this side. She's on this side, so he's yeah. on that side. Yeah. And uh, the dude was an actual normal. Did you know him? Yeah. Uh, he's a he's a heavier set man. He's got uh, tattoos all over him. And uh, mainly the only time we ever really see him was when he's mowing his grass. But, like, I walk down here all the time. And uh, I've got to meet him. He's a heavy set dude. He's a pretty nice dude. And uh, he was fighting for his house. I mean, he fought for what he was right for. You say he was a trucker? Yes, he was an 18 wheeler. Mainly the the big thing was when we sit there and find out, you know, it's right here, five houses down from mine. Someone Pretty scary. Well, it's scary, but it's life. This is a little unusual for this area. Yes, it's major. It's odd sitting there having something like this going down. You don't actually get to see anything like this whatsoever. This is something that you normally would never see unless you're living in a big city. This is out in the country. We live probably 10 minutes away from everything. And they sit there, stopped the search about 11 o'clock last night. And uh, when they stopped the search, they were all down here. They had police officers everywhere down here on this side. Had her, uh, had her house, had cops and everything. Still couldn't find the dude, so they left. They thought the dude got away, got in the ride, find out the dude was sitting there camping out and stayed and then goes in this man's house, breaks in it because he wasn't home. He didn't get there until 10 o'clock this morning. And uh, when he got home, I'm guessing he seen the back door broken. And when he sat there and came inside, he sat there, went and shoot. The dude shot and they shot and uh, she found Tim. She went to go over there, play cards with him and opens the door and the body's laying right there. Unbelievable. Yes, major unbelievable. Well, there you have it, Robertson County. As soon as we can get more information from the Sumner County Sheriff's Office or the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, we will bring it to you. Now, this has been Jim Ball reporting for Smoky Barn News in Cottontown. When you're facing a medical emergency, time is critical. Every minute matters. And today, time is on your side because Northcrest Medical Center is ready 24-7. We have the experience and expertise to act decisively and the leading edge technology crucial for life-saving surgery, letting you get back to the life you love. Northcrest Medical Center, bringing exceptional care to our community.